All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's now time for for the first of two update videos I'm going to do. This first update is a DVD and Blu-ray update video for, for today, May 10th, 2022. To the second update, I'll tell you more about, about when I get to that. But for now, let's show uh, this. I got these back at the end of, of April and all this. Here's the, so let's get started. And I happened to buy free items at Bull Moose Music and one I got at the Walmart Super Center in Salem and one I got at Target. Let's start with the DVDs first. First up, we've got Volume 1 of the classic TV show, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Now, this show ran, originally ran on CBS from 1986 till 1991. But the reason why it ended was because of what happened with Paul Rubens in that in that adult movie theater back then, with the trouble he caused. We all know that. Now this first set features episodes from the first couple of seasons. These are all the discs. I'm not going to show them because there's so much. So, but there's the back. It includes two lost shows never before released. And the back, and you even see the back side. Side, including Dog Chair, Mr. Window, Randy the Playhouse Bully, E. Cherry, and Clocky. And all of the other characters, too, in the show, besides Pee Wee, including Conky 2000, the Robot, Globy, Terry, yeah, yeah, Terry, Magic Screen, and Jobby the Genie, and a few others. Considering we know, la I think last year we also did Luke. Did lose John Paragon, who voiced some some of the puppets, especially Jambi in particular. Wish? Did somebody say wish? Mecca lecca hi, mecca hi ni ho. And but yeah, that's the first set. And next, and then, and then next up, we also have Volume Two, which has the remaining episodes of the run. Now. Even though I never saw this when it was on CBS, I would eventually see this later when Fox, when back when Freeform, back when it was Fox Family, it could, was that before it became ABC Family and then Freeform. Yeah, it started out as Family Channel. Fox, but when it was Fox Family, it aired reruns of this show. And there's the upper side, and there's the Playhouse. House and all this. Include six lost shows, number before released on Volume 2. There were so many other great characters on the show and for humans, including the late Phil Hartman playing Captain Carl in the first season, along with, oh, and most notably, three most notable, well, there was Tito, the lifeguard Tito in the first season, then in later ones, there was, he was replaced by the soccer player Ricardo. Though, and of course, for other humans, it, most notably Lynn Marie Stewart playing Miss Yvonne, the m most beautiful woman in Puppet Land. And, but it was also most notable for starting the careers of Essa Poffer Merkerson and Lawrence Fishburne. Because Essa Poffer Merkerson played Reba the Male Lady on the show, and Lawrence Fishburne played Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> so, they all exist. So that's all fun. Fun for Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> and if you remember, if you saw this show, you remember when, since the secret word was quite a big thing, when you know what you had to do when you said the secret word? Scream real loud! <laughs> there were other cartoons, too, such as those that the King of Cartoons showed throughout them. Two actors in that one. Along with... Two recurring cartoons, which included Penny, and of course the popular Spanish language cartoon El Hombre. So it's quite a good one. So if you've never seen Pee Wee's Playhouse before, I recommend you get buy these DVD sets. It'll help you be, love your Paul, Paul Rubens and his beloved Pee Wee character. And now, next, next up. Up oh, this I got at Walmart Supercenter. This next one is the classic co 1981 comedy movie Stripes, starring Bill Murray. 
Contains extra 18 extra minutes featuring six deleted scenes. Also in the movie, besides Murray, including the late John Candy, and of course, the late Harold Ramis, too. This was the first movie Bill and Harold did together, I think. And directed by the same man that would later direct the Ghostbusters films, Holmes, and he pa sadly passed away earlier, th just a couple months ago. Oh, directed by the late Ivan Reitman. Thankfully, Stripes is a great film. Here's its, here's its spine. And the back... No, no critic reviews on this, but it's got the features, and it's a funny movie. I know I haven't seen all of it in full. I know there's one scene where when Sergeant Hulk is leading, leading the, the <coughs> leading the members of the army in, in in a drill training, it's during this when Hulk is going left, right, left, right, a left, a left that. Bill and Harold's characters they start singing their version of a Manfred Mann classic. When they start singing, do a uh, diddy, he diddy, he puts, and in the teaser, you can hear a bit when Bill is singing, before I knew it, she was walking next to me, singing, do a uh, diddy, diddy, dum, diddy, do. Mm -hmm. Overall, Stripes is quite a funny movie. I recommend you get this if you love Bill Murray, funny Bill Murray 80s movies like this, this or Ghostbusters and any, anything else. So, there you go. And next, next up is a did number, is a number Disney classic. I've had this on tape, but I've never gotten the DVD version of this until recently. This is the 2009 DVD release of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Sticks, and it says from the studio that brought you Mary Poppins in this, and which it's relevant since one of the Poppins cast members plays a big role in this film, since the late David Tomlinson is in this this one, along with other great cast, including Angela Lansbury, of course. Of course, always oh, great. Need the Enchanted Musical Edition. Here's the spine and the back. Again, no critic review on this one either. Also, but it does mention its Oscar win for its visual effects. It had several other Oscar nominations, too, including the song for The Age of Not Believing. And a bunch. They even have the recording session for Portobello Road as one of the features. And so many others. I'll open this up. Here's the disc. It's a standard gray disc. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go to show the disc for Stripes, so let me do that, too. Yep, there's the yep, there's the disc with that and having Mallory's character and Sergeant Holka. So, so sorry that I went a little out of order, but but that's all right. All right, but for bed knobs and broomsticks, if you still don't have this in your collection, I do recommend you get this. It is another one of Disney's great great live action features, along with some animated bits in there. Because overall, seeing a movie that features a flying bed, it definitely will bring you back memories. And and finally, the, we can move on to the Blu-ray. This I got. This Blu-ray. Finally, we have Detective Pikachu. Two, three years since this movie came out, based on the popular game. The Blu-ray includes a detective mode. Great cast, including Justice Smith as Tim Goodman, and of course Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Detective Pikachu in the movie. We now unlike now Detective Pikachu is quite different from other Pikachu because, as you know, if you played the game or see in the movie, P Detective Pikachu, it's a talking Pikachu, and that's a Pikachu that speaks English, not just its own name. Of course, Sayuki Otani also his voice is also featured in there. Here for the scenes when uh, humans other than Tim's talk to it, in which he'll just Pikachu will just say it's standard. Pika, Pika. But talking Pikachu is Detective Pikachu quite funny for wearing the cap. Though there's some scenes in the film where it doesn't have the cap on and all, and looks a lot like like your regular Pikachu. Here's the spine. And the back, and it also says the words, Pika Pika! 
You can also see some no, no critic review here, but it's got some stills, and you can even see Charizard, Jigglypuff, and Mr. Mime. And it's got even, and yes, so I'll show you the this. Now this is just a Blu-ray. It's not a combo pack. And here's the standard Blu-ray disc for the movie. Mm -hmm. So, overall, it is. Detective Pikachu is quite popular when it comes to movies based on video games. So, if you like the Pokemon franchise, I do recommend you get this one. And overall, many people would often consider Detective Pikachu to probably be the second most popular Pikachu in the Pokemon franchise. Well, behind Ash Ketchum's Pikachu, Chew from the original anime series. And he's no doubt about that. <laughs> Primarily because a lot of you still often like Yuki Otani as your favorite Pikachu vo voice, voice person. I don't know what the way she does. Anyway, so, anyway, Detective Pikachu, still, you should check that out. And that's, that's basically it for this DVD and Blu-ray update. Hey, hopefully you'll stay tuned for another, for the second update video, which I will recall, which will be, be done, done sometime tomorrow. Row for which that will be completely different. I'm sure you'll know what it is in a mo in in a little while. But for now, thanks for watching, and again, see you all again for that second update video.